Hi guys! So for our last day of this week, our learning plan for Friday. For Friday, please have your child review that decodable and then using pictures either online or from this decodable, they get to draw a picture of a Venus flytrap and then label the parts of the Venus flytrap. They can find information about those parts inside their decodable. If they're proud of their drawing and would like to send it to me, I'd love to see that through Class Dojo. For spelling, have them practice those spelling words one more time using the spelling learning menu. And then please give them a traditional spelling test, just paper and pencil. And again, they can send that to me so that I can give them some feedback. That'd be awesome to see. Reading, our, we have our reading challenge today. It is reading up a tree. This is towards the back of your learning packet. It is labeled with the word Friday. So in Up a Tree, this is our comprehension page, and it also comes with uh, multiple choice on the back and then short answer on the second page. So all of those are labeled with Friday. This is a three-part thing, so one is the story, two multiple choice, and three short answer. So when your child is going through this, they need to be sure to use text evidence and go back in their story. One way that we do that in class is by underlining or highlight what we find. So for example, question number one is, what did the bluebirds use to make their nests? So we would go back into the text, read that, oops, read that, and right here it says, the bluebirds flew back and forth finding grass, twigs, and mud for their nests. So I've now found the three things, so grass, twigs, and mud. I would go back here and see if I can find what says grass, twigs, and mud. That is letter A. So these are all very similar. Like this one says just grass and twigs. This one says just mud and twigs. That's why I like kids to go back into the story and highlight or underline exactly where they found their answer. That way they are checking their answers and verifying that they are correct. So that is for reading today. For math today, it is fact fluency day. So they will be working through both sides of subtraction and adding just like they've done in previous weeks. Go ahead and set a timer for five minutes. They get five minutes to do the adding. Then set a timer again for five minutes, five minutes to do the subtraction. Remind them that if one is difficult for them, they can skip it and go to the next one. Have them use our strategies of counting up or down in their head. Please do not let them draw little dots. That is not fact fluency. That's a great strategy for adding in word problems, but that is not a fact fluency strategy. Fact fluency is about getting it quickly and automatically. All right, finally, for science and social studies today, on your learning plan, on that bottom part, it talks about our mystery dug for the day. That's their five minute interactive video. This one's all about why do we cry tears? So they can either go on the online learning plan through valleyview.com and just, or I'm sorry, .org and just click on this link, or you can type in the link right into your browser, or finally you could go into Google and just type Mystery Doug, why do we have tears when we cry, and it will pop right up on your browser. So those are some of your choices for Friday's Science and Social Studies. All right, guys, thank you for another great week. Please, again, um, ask me if you have any questions. I would love to help you out in any way I can. Thank you. Enjoy your Friday and have a good weekend.